the Chris Rock Will Smith slapping incident, also known as the slap heard around the world, also known as Slapgate, also known as Assault. It seems like just yesterday that Will Smith was the poster child for the clean image family man. Over the past few years, there have been various events or situations that have caused some to call into question the authenticity of Will Smith's character. But if none of those things did that for you, this is the one that probably did. On March 27th, 2022, Chris Rock hosted the 94th Academy Awards, an event marked by the gathering of world-famous celebrities and unrivaled narcissism. For those of you who don't know, Chris Rock is a famous comedian. He's been in movies alongside Anthony Hopkins, Eddie Murphy, and Adam Sandler. If you were born after the year 2000, you probably don't realize you know him as Marty from Madagascar. This entire incident stemmed from a joke that Chris Rock made about Jada Pinkett Smith, Will Smith's wife, who funnily enough played Gloria in Madagascar. All of these people are Hollywood veterans. They've each been in the industry for at least 30 years, half of which Will Smith spent trying to promote his son who wouldn't stop carpet bombing his reputation on Twitter. How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? And all of them, for the majority of their careers, had decent reputations. Will Smith starred in one of the biggest sitcoms of the 90s. Jada Pinkett Smith was in The Nutty Professor and The Scream franchise barely five years into her career. I probably know the least about Chris Rock, but the point is that generally speaking, these are people that you don't hear very many bad things about. The worst thing people might have said about Chris Rock is that he's annoying. And I mean, yeah, look at the face he's making. Does this look like the type of person that's going to be quiet? Like someone who's not going to interrupt an event? We all know it doesn't. Chris Rock is loud, he makes his presence known, and he likes pushing people's buttons. Incredibly relevant traits for today's conversation. So the way society looked at these people was generally pretty favorable for many, many years. That is, until the rise of social media. And the ability to put your voice and face in front of everybody in the world with no PR team there to stop you. The problems in Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith's relationship gradually became more apparent year after year, starting all the way back in 2013 when Jada Pinkett Smith made comments in an interview that some people thought might be indicative of an open relationship between her and Will. I won't get into all the details here, but there were suspicions of an upcoming divorce, followed by public statements that their marriage was perfectly solid in 2015, followed by a separation in 2016, and an eventual admission from Jada that she had had an entanglement with Augustus Alsina, a man who at the time was around 24 years old compared to Jada's 45. And in 2019, a weirdly invasive Instagram post where Jada's interviewing Will Smith, and you can see that he's clearly uncomfortable and not displaying his typically jovial personality. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh my goodness. If you could film me. Sam, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. So yeah, the star couple in the 90s and the 2000s had a shaky 20 teens. And all of that leads us back to the 2023 Oscars. The relationship's seen a lot at this point. Will Smith smiles and signature belly laugh. <laughs> stopped having some of the authenticity that you look for in a stable relationship. And now you got this guy revving up to host and start cracking some jokes. So what's the formula? What do you think happens whenever you put a comedian on stage in front of a fragile couple? Uh oh, Richard! <laughs> oh, wow! Yeah. Just to set the stage here, if you're not in America, this is pretty much the largest entertainment platform for pulling a stunt like this. While there are plenty of criticisms about the Oscars as an institution, many of which I'm sure are valid, it's still recognized as the highest award a person can achieve in the film industry. We, the audience, see the same celebrities on camera each year, but there are about 3,000 people in attendance at this ceremony, and for many of them, it's a once-in-a-lifetime event. And the real kicker to this whole thing is he actually won. Will Smith won the Oscar for Best Actor after three decades of pursuing the highest honor he could possibly achieve in his career. Will Smith himself overshadowed what should have been the peak of his accomplishments. And you know what? We should take a moment to cover both sides of the story. The whole reason Smith jumped out of his seat to deliver the open palm of justice was because Rock made a joke about his wife. At least on paper, Jada Pinkett Smith. That's why we covered her earlier in the video. Chris Rock specifically had a moment where he said, Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? G.I. <laughs> <laughs> Jane 2, can't wait to see it. This was in reference to a movie called G.I. Jane, and I thought that was a reference to G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Joe. 
but it's not. GI stands for government issue, and the initials are used to describe soldiers in the U.S. Army. And Jada Pinkett Smith was sporting a hairstyle very similar to that character. This is because, as many people learned shortly after the incident, Jada Pinkett Smith has alopecia, an autoimmune disease that often causes people to lose patches of hair around the scalp. I think I have some alopecia somewhere around here. Jada, like many people with alopecia, solved for this issue by simply shaving her head. And at the moment of Chris Rock's Oscars joke, she didn't seem very pleased at the jab. You might notice, Will Smith thought it was hilarious. But little did we know that off camera, he would see his wife's sour reaction and suddenly feel the need to, in his mind, restore balance to the world. Now, I'm not knocking Will Smith for wanting to defend his wife or the urge to get back at someone for causing what you perceive as harm to a loved one, but there's a big difference between your feelings, appropriate and normal things to have if you're a human, and your behavior, also appropriate and normal to have, but can vary dramatically from person to person. It's very common to want to slap someone in the face, but actually slapping someone in the face is a much different act. After winning the Oscar for Best Actor, Will Smith got on stage in front of all the people who had just witnessed him assault a person, and with tears in his eyes, made a speech that mostly avoided addressing the incident on everybody's mind. The first thing he says is, Richard Williams, the character he played in the movie, was a fierce defender of his family. And everyone in the crowd is like, Ooh. like, whoops. How are we supposed to react to that? Richard Williams um, was a fierce defender of his family. <laughs> Celebrity lives are just one giant PR show. Like, we should all know that what Will Smith did is wrong. But the audience is like, uh, are we, are we clapping for this? I, what makes us look best? Will Smith says a lot of things that could easily be mistaken for remorse. At your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for you. I want to be a vessel for love. And he does apologize, but not to Chris Rock. I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to my, all my fellow nominees. Um, Ultimately, Will Smith was able to carry on with the rest of the night, but he did face consequences after the event ended. The Academy slapped Will Smith with a 10-year ban, barring him from future awards or attendance. And certain celebrities openly condemned his behavior, most notably Jim Carrey in an interview afterward. I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. Others were a little more forgiving. When the devil comes at you, maybe it's because you're trying to do something right for whatever reason. The devil got a hold of him. Today, it's hard to even find full footage of the incident. If you go searching for a Chris Rock Oscar speech, like I did while making this video, you either get Chris Rock's 2016 Oscar speech, he also hosted then, or you get the slap only with very little surrounding context. Even the official Oscars YouTube channel omits the footage. This moment pretty much overshadows everything else in the event that year. Wherever you stand on the issue, I think my feelings are pretty clear, we can all agree that Will Smith stole the show. And not in a good way. Jim Carrey sums it up best in the interview we saw earlier. You know, you do not have the right to, to walk up on stage and smack somebody in the face because they said words. So if you're thinking of slapping anything in the near future, make sure it's the like button so I can keep making videos like this. See ya!